Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm gonna show how to improve your Mac's speed, performance, and stability. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Enhancing the performance of your Mac can significantly revitalize its capabilities, liberate essential disk space, and ensure optimal functionality, starting with monitor in real time to assess your Mac's state. By using built-in tools like Activity Monitor, you can track your Mac's performance, including CPU usage, memory allocation, and disk activity, ensuring it runs smoothly and identifying any issues as they arise. Open Activity Monitor via Spotlight. Once opened, you'll see a window with tabs like CPU, memory, energy, disk, and network. These show how apps and processes are affecting your Mac's performance. The main list displays all active processes including app names, CPU usage, percent, memory usage, and more. The activity monitor updates automatically, giving you a live view of resource usage. Watch for spikes in CPU or memory from specific processes, which might indicate something slowing your Mac down. Look for processes using unusually high CPU, memory, or disk usage. For example, an app or process stuck at 99% CPU for too long. This also may lead to an unexpected system restart or result in a system crash. Common culprits might include web browsers, creative software, or background tasks. To fix this, click the process with high usage that you want to stop. Click the X button in the toolbar at the top of Activity Monitor. A pop-up will ask if you want to quit or force quit. Choose based on the situation, force quit for a frozen app, and quit attempts to close it normally, then click the corresponding button. The process will be terminated and should disappear from the list. If the app or process you terminated restarts automatically, it is likely that it's tied to an app or service that is configured and relaunch when terminated. Next, you can manage disk space to manage the disk space on your Mac and identify space hogs using the built-in storage management tool. Open storage settings via quick look. You'll see a color-coded bar showing how much space is used by categories like apps, documents, photos, trash, and other. Hover over each section for a size breakdown. This gives you a quick overview of what's taking up the most space. The Recommendations section under Storage Settings on a Mac is a handy feature that suggests ways to free up disk space based on your usage. macOS typically offers the Store in iCloud, Optimize Storage, Empty Trash Automatically, and Reduce Clutter options to optimize storage. The Store in iCloud option offers to store all files in iCloud Drive and save space by keeping only recent files on this Mac when storage space is needed. To use this option, you must be signed in to your iCloud account. Optimize Storage option offers to save space by automatically removing movies and TV shows that you've already watched from this Mac. The Empty Trash Automatically option offers to save space by automatically erasing items that have been in the trash for more than 30 days. After applying recommendations, click Manage or the I button next to Categories to dig deeper and take actions. You can delete unused apps, clear off the unused documents, duplicate photos, and much more. Select the unused apps, files, and documents you want to remove and then click on Delete and proceed with the prompts. You can also choose to delete old macOS installers. After clearing off the unused or unwanted stuff, return to the storage screen to see the updated disk space. It may take some time for the changes to fully reflect. Sometimes, you may have to restart your Mac for full effect. Next, you can clean up junk files, the system junk. Cleaning up junk files, often categorized as system junk, or part of the other or system data storage on a Mac can help reclaim disk space. These files include caches, logs, analytics, and diagnostic reports, temporary files, and leftovers from apps or system processes. To clean such files, open Finder, then press Command-Shift-G to open the Go to Folder dialog. Type the following path and press Enter. Look for folders tied to apps you no longer use, for example, com.zoom for old Zoom caches. Delete such folders to reclaim the space. You can also remove old logs by going to the following path, system and app logs that track errors or activity, often unnecessary after a while. Look for .log files or folders for old apps, for example, Adobe Logs if you uninstalled it. Trash them. After deleting the logs, empty the trash to reclaim the storage space. Before proceeding further, if you find these methods a bit tiring, you can do all the steps with a click using Clean My Mac. Clean my Mac.
is an all-in-one Mac cleaner that cleans, protects, and speeds up your Mac. Set your Mac free from clutter with Clean My Mac. This all-in-one Mac cleaner and maintenance app handles junk, duplicates, malware, and performance issues, making your Mac extra efficient and impeccably clean. Clean My Mac is much more than just a Mac cleaner. With Clean My Mac, you can free up more space, neutralize threats before they cause any harm, take control of clutter, and manage all your apps in one place. Clean My Mac understands what your Mac needs, more space, a speed boost, or a deep malware scan. Make sure your Mac is up to any challenge, multitasking, editing, or whatever you're doing, your Mac will run efficiently, no matter the job. Control memory and CPU load to keep your Mac productive in intensive workloads. Clean My Mac is trusted by millions of Mac users. Clean My Mac is an all-in-one package to awesomeize your Mac. Try Clean My Mac today for instant optimization. Clean My Mac, your Mac as good as new. For more info, check out the link in description. Moving forward, you can make your Mac a bit faster by uninstalling apps completely that you no longer use. To do so, open the Applications folder, drag unwanted apps to the trash. Uninstalling apps completely on a Mac involves more than just dragging an app to the trash, as many apps leave behind residual files, like caches, preferences, or support data that can accumulate and take up space. After trashing the apps, remove leftover files, to clean these, open Finder and press Command-Shift-G to open the Go to Folder dialog. Go to the following path and then check location for leftovers with the app's name, for example slack or com.slack. Drag any folders or files related to the app to the trash. After moving leftovers to the trash, empty it to fully remove them. Next, you can clear browser data. Clearing browser data on a Mac is a great way to protect your privacy by removing stored information like browsing history, cookies, cached files, and autofill data. This can also free up some disk space and resolve browser performance issues. Open your browser, then clear the browsing history. Click Clear History. This removes history, cookies, and some cached data tied to visited sites. You can also get a bit of extra performance by just removing the unwanted extensions. Uninstall any untrusted and unwanted extensions you no longer use. Select such extensions and click Uninstall. If the extension is part of any app installed, uninstalling the app will get rid of the extension too. Next, to squeeze some extra performance, you can disable startup items. Disabling startup items on a Mac helps improve boot time and system performance by preventing unnecessary apps or processes from launching automatically when you log in. These items can include apps, background services, or login scripts that consume resources. The easiest way to manage startup items is through macOS's built-in settings. Open System Settings, and then go to Login Items and Extensions under the General tab. You may need to scroll down. You'll see a list of apps and services set to launch at Login. These might include productivity apps such as Slack, cloud services such as Dropbox, or utilities. Simply select the apps that you don't want to launch at Login and click on minus button. After managing extensions, it's time to flush DNS cache. Flushing the DNS cache on a Mac can resolve internet and browsing related issues. This also improves privacy by clearing stored website address records and fixes problems like websites not loading correctly or redirecting to older versions and outdated servers. Launch terminal, and then execute the following command to flush the DNS cache. Flush DNS monthly if you're privacy conscious or after visiting sensitive sites. The command usually runs silently with no output, taking a second or two. If you see no error messages, it worked. Last but not least, update the system software to finalize the maintenance. Updating your Mac operating system is a critical step in completing maintenance, ensuring your system and apps run smoothly, securely, and efficiently. Software updates aim to fix bugs, patch security vulnerabilities that could expose your data improve stability, and often optimize overall system performance. By keeping your Mac updated to the latest version, you can use the latest hardware accessories, the most up-to-date apps along with other software, and add new functionality to Mac OS and existing apps. Click Update Now or Upgrade Now. If prompted, enter your admin password. For major upgrades, you may see a download button. Click it, and once downloaded, follow prompts to install. By manually monitoring resources, clearing junk files, managing disk space, fine-tuning performance, and securing your system, 
you've revitalized your Mac. Your Mac should feel snappier and more efficient, ready to tackle your tasks. Regular upkeep will maintain these gains, ensuring your system stays optimized, performant, and reliable for the long run. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.